Hello, welcome back to a new video, Lawn Hardy, Memorabilia and Chaplin Collectibles. For this video, I'm not exactly showing anything, I'm just explaining where all my new collection is going to be here in the new home, as I've now moved over to the other side of Olveston. So um, this has been really, really great. So I've finally moved in, very, very happy, and... Uh, We've got the new area in the home where I'd like to keep all the collectibles and plus my other collectibles that are not related to Lauren Hardy as well. So everything's going to be all in one area in the house. So it's basically going to be through this door here, which is an adjoining garage, which actually comes into the hallway into the house, which is absolutely perfect uh, for how I want it. So uh, basically, this is... The garage so it's just a normal average size single garage but it's given me a lot of ideas and what to do at the moment there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here at the moment so there's bikes and stuff and uh, lawn mowers and stuff and uh, all gardening equipment so uh, all that will go out and that will go into a uh, shed which is out in the garden so uh, that'll be all out of the way so basically what I do have in mind is on this wall is going to be one large uh, bookcase, a very high bookcase, and that will hold all the Lauren Hardy books, all the Chaplin books, or, or, or the other comedy books related to Abbott Costello or other related comedy, as well as all my other film and uh, music related books. Um, and then here on this wall, there'll be another double uh, cabinet here very high cabinet and then here where you've got uh, the boiler and all the electrics here of course you can't cover that so you're going to have just up to here two long glass display units that have glass tops so you can actually see through the tops of them as well and then on this wall and then on this wall here is two long uh, cabinets that will stretch all the way along both these walls and then plus two single uh, tall glass cabinets either side of the garage door, and also one here as you come in to the uh, in, into the garage here from this side. Uh, but the garage at the bottom is going to be sealed, so no like wind or, or cold air or, or leaves and damp will get in. It's all going to be sealed all the way around, and then also the floor. That's going to be all boarded over, so I'm thinking it may be sort of laminate flooring. So something like that, but uh, I'm going to have it all closed in, so it's not actually really going to be opened up, the garage door. It will just be sort of more sealed off, as uh, any vehicles would we'll just stay outside on the drive. Um, also in the centre, I'm thinking, which is what I probably will do, is buy a long uh, rack, um, which holds uh, cinema posters, and then I'll have a file uh, on the rack, and uh, you'll be able to flip through and see all cinema posters. A lot, a lot of posters on Law and Hardy, but also on other uh, related film subjects that I'm interested in, which I'll just put all together in the centre, so you'll be able to walk around that, and then all the cabinets will be round around the edge, and then also maybe signed items or um, framed items will go above the cabinets which they'll be able to lean on top of the cabinets also lean up against the walls um, just ideally I don't really want to put anything attached to the walls in here but uh, I've got it all planned out I've got it all measured up I've got the units that I want measured up a lot of them uh, the units will be uh, from Ikea for that uh, the, the display units are really good I think from Ikea um, I'm not a big fan of all their furniture there because a lot of it is, is sort of very flimsy and uh, to me doesn't probably last as long as I'd want it to. But for glass display units are pretty good for my care. So uh, I'm quite happy to do that and, uh, and go from there. But uh, again, I can't wait to get to get going and get started with this. And uh, it'll be a nice... Uh, little project or rather a big project to get working on so uh, really really exciting and uh, I can see the majority of my gear coming in here it will it will fit in I can sort of visualize how it will be and 
and uh, all the space that it needs. So, uh, so that's it for this video. So, hopefully, by the time I do the next video, you'll see a bit more progress going on in here for the uh, large film movie collection. Okay, signing off for now. Bye.